Good afternoon, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog, starting off on a Monday afternoon, because as always, my Monday morning was firstly very predictable. It started off with Reforma Pilates at Bamford, Hay Barn, at Dalesford. I actually had a meeting um, at the Orchard Bar, which is within the kind of Bamford wellness barn. I uh, did a little bit of shopping. And then today was an admin day. I always have a lot of emails to catch up on on Mondays and editing. So I thought I would spare you my Monday morning because you've seen it all before and I'm actually picking up the vlog camera very late in the day. It's currently 20 past five. I've just finished filming some skincare stories for Rodeal. Now I'm not actually sure if the discount code is going to be 10% or 15% off everything on Rodeal, but whatever it is, I will leave it on the screen here. And I have got so many favorites from them at the moment. I thought what I'd do at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing. I've got a few PR bits, some new launches that I thought we could go through quickly together, but also I'm gonna remind you of all the discount codes that I currently have going live because I have quite a few. So Rodeal, um, my stories this morning, where have I put it? Oh. <laughs> It's hidden behind my tongue plastics. My stories this morning were all about their vitamin C range, and I just love this range for its brighteningness, but also its sensorial experience. So I actually stopped using an eye cream for a very long time because I found them all too thick, and they actually just made my under eyes worse, when all I really want is something hydrating and something to brighten the under eye. This is their vitamin C souffle. Vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, peptide complex for hydration and visibly brighter under eye area. So I've been very much enjoying using that. And then I also spoke about in the stories, the vitamin C brightening cleansing pads. I actually took these with me in my gym bag this morning because I had the meeting straight after my reformer. I just swiped one of these over my face. They are the most heavenly smelling pre-soaked cleansing pads, so quick and easy for on a flight, in a gym bag, by the sink, for just freshening up your complexion in the mornings. So love those, um, but you can also use the discount on makeup as well. The SPF 50 drops, I just absolutely love these. They protect you against blue light and pollution. I feel like a QVC lady. <laughs> these are all my favorites. Uh, oh my gosh, of course the glass powder, the powder that gives you instant soft focus. I apply this to my T-zone, love it. Um, of course, so many people, so many people I know are just obsessed with the banana low lighter. I've got it under the eyes and kind of like this whole area here, just really helps to lift the complexion and give you that lit from within look. So yes, that's a few of my rodeal favorites. My actual base after the concealer is this. Now this gives me a double whammy of SPF. It's the Aborian CC Cream. High definition radiance face cream. I actually popped this on before my Pilates this morning because it is essentially kind of like your moisturizer. A CC cream is essentially where skincare meets makeup. This gives me SPF 25 protection, boost radiance, protect and hydrate. It comes out of the tube white, but then it has a really lovely light color and coverage on your skin. And for a Borean, I have a 20% <laughs> discount code, which is Josie 20. So that's another one to use. What other discount codes do I have at the moment? Um, I think my Monica Vinader jewelry discount code is always on. I'll leave that linked down below. Oh, beauty pie. And I actually have an unboxing to share with you. So with Beauty Pie, uh, what my code does, and my code is Josie sent me, you just pop that in when you are sorting out your membership, because Beauty Pie is a beauty, luxury beauty buyers members club, essentially. You can get the most amazing products at direct to factory prices. You don't pay any crazy markups, and their products are just insanely good anyway. But Josie sent me will get you 10 pound off your annual membership, making it 49 pounds instead of 59 pounds. And then you get basically like an allowance each month to put towards their insanely good products. I was really eager to try the Beauty Pie fragrances because fragrances have got a serious markup. 
Um, I think fragrances for beauty brands are a real cash cow. They don't cost very much at all to create and yet we end up paying an absolute fortune. So I chose the Mandarin Leaf White Cedar and Freesia. Now I always think that fragrances, and doesn't this look like, it kind of looks like a Dior fragrance bottle. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this is absolutely not what I was expecting and I have to say, this is actually not for me. This is the first time that <laughs> I've ever done this with the Beauty Pie order. But this is a fragrance that Charlie is going to love. This smells like, I'm gonna have to let Charlie tell you which one it smells like, but there's a really famous, very expensive men's fragrance. Maybe it's Dior. I don't know, but Charlie's gonna love this. It's, it's I mean, girls could definitely wear it. It's a very clean, like if you like that kind of fresh linen fragrance, you'll love it. But I'll just be totally honest and say that that is one for Charlie, but not for me. I did write a blog post all about Beauty Pie and I let you know how it worked and my favorite ranges. One of the absolute best, oh, I really, I smell like a, a handsome man that's just had a fresh shower after a rugby game. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yes, one of the ranges that I love from Beauty Pie is Japan Fusion, and I saw this product here, and I thought it was definitely interesting sounding. Genius Lift Elixir. So I think you put, yeah, you put this straight onto the skin, skin, apparently for an instantly plumper looking complexion, before layering on a hydrating lotion. So it's kind of like a booster for your skincare routine. I loved the sound of it, so I'll try that in the morning and I'll let you know how I get on. I just love how everything comes packaged. It's uh, it's like Christmas when your beauty pie order arrives. I know that so many of you have already signed up, so please let me know your favorites down below. It's just so fun, like discovering new things and sharing with your friends. I feel like everyone has got their favorites and it's the club, the beauty club that everyone knows about. <laughs> One of my all-time favourites that I mentioned in my fake tan, self-tan video is the Super Healthy Skin Body Moisturiser. I use this every single day. I pop it on after my baths, pop it on before bed, in the mornings, all the time. Love it. This is something that I'm intrigued by. Awesome Bronze Luxe Shimmer Oil Balm. So if you've got fake tan on, you shouldn't put anything oily on your skin. So this is something that I'm going to have to take with me for actual holidays for when I have a legit tan because it has got oil in there um but again are these like oil products you get from the likes of oh, I guessed it oh that smells like chocolate oh my god I want to lick it <laughs> I really want to lick it it smells so good that literally smells like chocolate I feel like this is an elevated version of the uh is it cocoa butter is that the brand What's the brand? You know, the cocoa butter, but like an elevated version. That is going to look so amazing on bronzed shins. I think that's going to be a really great one for summer holidays. And then something that, you know, people on social media don't often say, but it's like the unwritten thing about Beauty Pie, is that a lot of the products, you can kind of tell what product they're, I don't want to say duping, but that they are the far more affordable alternative to and quite possibly made in the same factory of. So let's just say, I got a feeling that this is going to be very similar to a certain Charlotte Tilbury palette that I have. You've got the bronze, the blush and the highlight and some of the most wearable eyeshadow shades that I have ever seen, how gorgeous. So, oh, and the most amazing massive mirror in the lid. So that is gonna go in my handbag makeup bag because you've literally got everything in one place. Fresh Glow Breathable Setting Spray. Um, setting sprays are another thing which just really shouldn't be that expensive, but they are. Gosh, this looks gorgeous. Made in Korea. Fresh Glow Breathable Setting Spray. It's in this most lovely light pink tube. It always looks very simple, understated, and yet luxurious. That's a really good size for in a... <gasps> that smells so good. That's quite like lightly floral. That is gorgeous. <laughs> How can they do everything so well? I know how they do everything so well. It's because they they work closely with the actual uh, like factories. 
<laughs> and then they bring the products straight to us. No faff. All in wonder illuminating primer. Again, this will and everything I love that it just does what it says on the tin. Illuminating primer. Give that a go tomorrow. So I mentioned that I've been using the Rodeal eye cream lately. Well, I also ordered this. I just love that packaging. How cute is that? Can you see? This is their Triple Hyaluronic Acid Elastic Lifting Eye Serum. I feel like this could be a really good daytime one because I find eye serums a lot lighter than eye creams. Um, and I could use the Rodeal at night. Ah, oh, this is the best. So I'm about to run out of this. It is my everyday lip balm and it's SPF 30. Do not forget to put SPF on your lips because they can also burn and this is an SPF 30 lip balm. And then last but not least, two lipsticks. Again, I read the reviews of these and they're meant to be super balmy and hydrating. This is a kind of like an everyday browny pinky nude. I guess I'm kind of hoping they'll be similar to the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Balms because I love those. And you'll always find one of those in my handbag. And then more of a rosy, that is lovely, lovely rosy pink. So I wasn't expecting to do a beauty pie unboxing with you, but there we go. That is what's in my beauty pie this month. It's super duper easy to use, um, to sign up, so don't forget Josie sent me £10 off your annual membership if you would like to sign up. And then you're currently balancing on something else that I wanted to unbox with you, so let's do a little swap around. You're now balancing on my super healthy skin, the awesome bronze, my rhodial glass powder and my rhodial bee venom <laughs> cleanser. That's your tower. So this lovely box arrived from Galan and the fragrance that I'm currently wearing is the Galan one. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is actually the refill bottle of the fragrance that I'm wearing as my everyday fragrance. It's Aqua Allegoria, the Neroli and Vetiver fragrance from Galan. I only just got it, so I, I'm not in need of a refill just yet, but that is amazing. What a great idea because these perfume bottles are just so beautiful and let's be honest, expensive and I just don't want to get rid of them when I'm done so now I can fill it up. That's a wonderful, wonderful idea from Galan. And with the original perfume and that refill and I'm spraying it quite regularly, <laughs> that should last me at least until the end of the year. But this also arrived, oh my gosh. We have got a little box of blooms. We oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. We have got some of their Kiss Kiss Bee Glow lipsticks in here. Oh my goodness. Lavender Glow. Who do I know that wears purple lipstick? Okay, that is absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful red. And these are so balmy. Super, super hydrating. And instead of giving an intense colour, it's more of... <laughs> Here we go, this is my kind of colour. They give a really delicate wash of colour, absolutely gorgeous. And then two more things which arrived over the weekend. Uh, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I've heard is the best one, but I need to put this to the test against the Beauty Pie and I'll report back. So I've sprayed this one today, I'll spray this one tomorrow and we can compare results. Uh, oh yeah, and this is the vitamin C version. So it's got cactus flower water, long lasting makeup setting spray. And the cactus water I'm guessing is for hydration. And then last but not least for my new unboxings, this is the new, I think it's newly formulated, SPF 50 plus from Cordley from their Vino Sun range. Very high protection, lightweight cream. I have said for many a year that my sun cream of choice when I go away is the Cordially Vino Sun Range. It's formulated without octanoxate and oxybenzone, which are the two ingredients that literally just a drop of these ingredients can kill coral, marine life. It can be very, very damaging to the ocean. And this is an ocean safe formula. So I always make sure to use this, especially if I'm going to be dunking in the ocean. You don't need to worry about it quite so much if you're just sunbathing and you're by a pool or whatever. But I always think it's good to think about the ingredients within what you're putting on your skin because your skin is very absorbent. So you don't want to put loads of chemicals on it. 
and I just love this range. So that is my new face SPF 50. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing and um, reminder of all of my discount codes. So this evening we are heading to Penyan, which is the Japanese restaurant at the farmhouse. Um, because today is actually my mum's birthday. If you watched the last vlog, you'll know that we celebrated all weekend, which was really, really good fun, but today's her actual birthday. So we're heading to Penyan in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna get myself ready. So this evening I have decided to pop on my Erdem dress. This was a strong contender for the Chelsea Flower Show, but I thought I might get a bit warm in it. Um, however, this evening it's grey and it's raining, which is a huge shame, but we will be indoors, so eating yummy food, so I definitely can't complain. As always, I've cinched it in with my belt and I've gone for, this sounds really bad, but my oldest Valentino rock studs because I feel like the way that they are shiny, they're like a uh, kind of pewter colour, I feel that they repel the rain somewhat. Obviously we'll only be outside for a few moments from the car to the restaurant, but yes, that is my outfit of the evening. Good morning, my darlings. Please excuse my freshly curled hair. I am leaving it in this uber curly form for a little while so the curls set. And it's just looking a little bit, uh, what do I call it? The, the <laughs> Elizabeth Swan's father from Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm getting those kind of vibes at the moment. Uh, my outfit of the morning is actually all Amazon. <laughs> this is the lovely, very relaxed pink day dress that I found, and then the lovely little pointed toe flats, and then I've cinched in, okay, this is not Amazon, this is my Zimmerman belt, but there is a very similar version on Amazon as well. We have got a very fun <laughs> day planned. <clears throat> Excuse me, there goes my voice. We have got a very, very fun day planned. Charlie and I have got a road trip today down to West Wittering, which is a beautiful beach here in the UK. It's actually a really lovely day, not super, super hot, but it's gonna be a really wonderful day out. I just pulled this gorgeous picnic hamper down. You might remember it's normally tucked up in this corner. And I actually received this just before I had to dash out the house really quickly. So I kind of opened it up and showed it to you guys. And then I popped it up in the corner. And I totally forgot that there's a bottle of rosé inside. This uh, whole hamper was an incredible gift from Aurelia about six months ago. <laughs> I obviously took all the Aurelia products out and I've been using them since then. But I completely forgot to get the Army wine out and I was actually only speaking to someone about this wine brand the other day so I'm looking forward to trying it. We've also got some Aurelia London tea inside but I thought I would take the hamper with me so we can have a little picnic on the beach. My suitcase is packed actually for tomorrow. I've got two nights away from home from tomorrow, two days at the Chelsea Flower Show and then meetings in London. So I'm going to fill my hamper with some yummy treats and then it's time to hit the road. So after nearly three hours in the car, we've almost made it down to West Wishering and I just had a little look on Google, Google Maps because whenever our car shows green, it means that we are in an area of outstanding natural beauty just like the Cotswolds is. And I had a little look and this area here is part of the Chichester Harbour, A-O-N-B. So maybe after we've been down to the beach, we can go and check out the harbour. How many A-O-N-Bs are there then in the UK? I actually don't know, but we should make it on- like eight, 10, or is it more than that? I don't know, but we should make it on mission to visit them all, shouldn't we? 100%. We drove through the Chichester Downs or the, no, the Chiltern Hills, I think. Well, there's the Chilterns. The Chilterns. And then isn't there the Sussex Downs? Yes. Those are two separate ones. I'd love to go to the Sussex we probably, Downs. Which can't be that far from here, right? No. We have 
made it to West Wittering Beach. Oh my goodness, there's something about this that reminds me of that incredible long beach on Hilton Head in South Carolina. There's these lovely little colourful beach huts, some sand dunes, and the tide is out at the moment, so the sea is quite a way away. I think we're just gonna set up a little spot for a little picnic and maybe just go for a walk up and down. It's so lovely that it's actually proper sandy beaches, not pebbles. to call it quits on the beach because it was super duper breezy but we walked all the way down to the sea which was actually about 10 minutes walk from the kind of entrance to the beach because the tide is all the way out it's really warm and sunny when you're behind the shelter of the kind of bracken but on the beach it is super super windy so i think what we're going to do is drive around a little bit um we're going to head down to the harbor and just see what it's like in these beautiful little coastal town areas i'm going to drive because charlie drove all the way down here and as you can see i swapped dress this is a lovely one from cult gaia it's got a really beautiful kind of bodice detail and puff sleeves my favorite design detail right let's put what's the name of the harbor we'll put that into the sat nav and explore the AONB. Again, my darlings we are back home again as you can tell so the trip to the harbour was a little bit of an epic fail and I actually remember that we had this same problem when we I can't actually remember where we were where we were I think it was maybe around the Durdle door area where Google Maps in coastal regions just tends to take you near where you want to be but then when you get there you find that you're actually the other side of the sea <laughs> to where you want to be so we put um chichester harbour in our google maps and then when we got there it was essentially well you saw it, it was kind of like a, a boat graveyard <laughs> would be the best way to describe it and then across this big estuary was the harbour 
So when we looked at actually getting there, it would have been a 40 minute drive um, and <sighs> we'd been driving around for a very long time at this point. But as you might have guessed, today was not all about going just for a jolly. We did have an Instagram reel to shoot, which needed to have the ocean in it. So that was really the aim of today. We got the reel um, and we still had a really lovely day out. We have just arrived home to find two little ducks on our pond, which is very exciting. I don't know if they, uh, well, I guess, I guess they're just wild and they are hopefully gonna make their home here, which is very exciting. Charlie's been making the duck house a little bit more presentable for them. Um, and in other exciting news, my podcast that I recorded with Alex Monroe, his This Is A Token podcast, is now out. So I'm going to leave that in the description box down below for you to have a listen to, if you so desire. After being in a dress all day, I decided to just pop on <laughs> my dressing gown as soon as I got home. And we've had a few deliveries, including uh, what looks like a live plant delivery from Sarah Raven. So I'm going to get that unboxed, plant whatever's in there, and spend the rest of this glorious evening down in the garden. Look at my bun. Are you confused where mummy's been all day, are you my baby? Did you have a nice time with your granny today? Did you have a nice time with your granny today? I love you. Love being in a wheelbarrow. There we go, chat. <laughs> I'm gonna help my daddy. Okay, so here we have my seedlings, my flower seedlings from my Sarah Raven order. I ordered a few different seedlings after listening to her podcast, Influence Me Once Again. And these are all just really beautiful blooms, which I would be too late to sow the seeds of. Um, but perfect time to add seedlings in to the cut flower garden. But we've got Ami Visnaga. I'm going to apologise right now if I pronounce any of these wrong. Antinum Magus Apple Blossom. Orlea grandiflora, Phlox creme Antunum magus white giant, and Consolida regalis misty lavender. So with the help of a certain someone, I'm gonna get these planted straight away down in the cut flower garden. off today in quite possibly the most beautiful hair space I think I've seen in a very long time. This is on the fifth floor of Harrods, it's the Hair and Beauty Salon, and I have got a hair and oil ritual with Rahua this morning, which I'm very much looking forward to, and then a lovely afternoon at the Chelsea Flower Show. Every time I come to Harrods I always think I must spend more time here because it really is. Every part of the shop floor is just absolutely beautiful, such a gorgeous space. I mean look at this. A hair salon. How stunning. And 
just like that, my very lazy bun has been upgraded to gorgeous silky curls after my lovely Rahua blow dry with Josh here at Harrods. It's just the most gorgeous salon space. I absolutely love it here. So what we have used is a few drops of the Rawa Elixir, this lovely oil, in my conditioner. And without it being too heavy, it's just given it the most gorgeous kind of softness and shine. And shine with blonde hair is very hard to get, but it looks great. And then because my hair is always super knotty after a wash, we put some of the control cream in, which doesn't weigh the hair down, but gives it some really lovely hydration. I've also popped a little bit of this on my pulse points, the most gorgeous smelling product. So hopefully these curls will last all day. I'm gonna go and check out some of the installations for Chelsea in Bloom and then a quick lunch and then we're heading into the flower show. Guys, I think I've actually found somewhere <laughs> where fruit and vegetables are more expensive than they are at Dalesford. <laughs> this is the Harrods Food Hall. It is rather exceptional, my goodness. It's like the slick city version of bougie food shopping. I'm just making my way down to Kings Road toward the flower show and here on Pomp Street and Cadogan Lane it looks like Anya Heinmarsh has opened a little mini garden centre so I thought I would pop inside have a little look quite possibly the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen it's an Anya Heinmarsh picnic hamper So apparently Anya Heimarsh has collaborated with Thompson and Morgan and I recognise many of these seed packets but she's actually done these really fun names. Sweet peas are made of this. I love this one, v Verbena. Perennials for millennials, very clever. And the Cupcake Cosmos are called Cupcakes for Snowflakes. Brilliant. The Cactus is a friendly prick. <laughs> veggies for veggies, the courgettes. <laughs> Very true, but don't touch your dot dot dot. Proud beats. Oh, this is very clever. There is even a little greenhouse in here. This is so sweet. How do you fancy an Anya Heinmarsh kneeler for when you're gardening? My goodness, a dibber. You can get not just any seed trays, but Anya Heinmarsh <laughs> seed trays. This is amazing. Oh gosh, I really feel like my hobby has become cool when fashion designers are doing their own little garden centres. So as we approach the King's Road, the stores have got the most beautiful flower displays to celebrate Chelsea in bloom. This is Jo Malone, they've got a gorgeous colour scheme very similar to our own garden, <laughs> complete with doggies. Got some gorgeous alliums, some phlox, lots of lavender. I'm very surprised not to see, oh yes, there is some salvia in there as well. They've done such a lovely job. And great for the bees. I feel like there's always a lot of pressure for this shop on the corner to do a fabulous display. It's rag, oh, sorry, bus noise. Rag and bone, and they've gone for a great big foliage style display with an Alice in Wonderland theme. Got the Queen of Hearts, got some roses, got the rabbit, so fun. What a well-behaved doggy, posing with the guards. Very busy on this side of the road, but Ralph Lauren have gone for a really beautiful wildflower display, picnic baskets full of blooms. I love this, what a wonderful idea. I feel like this would be such amazing inspo for a, you can tell what's on my mind, a wedding arch instead of just your typical flower arch. How fun! And then you could just plant everything up afterwards. So much more sustainable. Late 
stage the party but this incredible building which used to be Jigsaw is of course now a Soho home and I've not visited it yet so I thought we'd just quickly go and check it out. My goodness. Okay, my darlings, I have to hugely apologize that from this point on, I became the world's worst vlogger. But don't worry, in my Sunday vlog, there will be a proper amount of footage from the Chelsea Flower Show. I had had a couple of glasses of rosé at this point, and you might be able to tell from my voice, um, still a couple of glasses of rosé down, but I didn't want to end the vlog just on this time lapse. But here you can see we had such a lovely, afternoon exploring the Chelsea Flower Show. We looked around so many of the beautiful gardens and saw so many incredible blooms, including the biggest delphiniums I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I just said to the girls that of all the celebrities I can meet at the Chelsea Flower Show, Monty Don is number one. Ah. Number one. And in the Blue Peter Garden. Absolutely. How perfect. Gosh, I was on Blue Peter when I was about six years old. Then to end the evening after the loveliest afternoon at the Chelsea Flower Show, we headed to Windsor to celebrate the launch of the new Royal Brasserie in Windsor, the most amazing location right opposite the Windsor Castle. It was a really lovely party and it was actually one of Charlie's friends that is the new general manager there. So we had a wonderful evening, managed to capture a couple of clips and yeah. So that was the rest of the day, darlings. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'll see you in the next one. Sorry for this very strange ending. <laughs> Bye.